okay? What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow we have to stand up to the old builders, together! Um, actually, I think you mean the gladiators. They're the ones that keep kicking our butts in the games. Uh, actually, actually, the gladiators work for the old builders, and they never want us to be able to win. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them! What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. The point is, just shut up and let me talk, okay? Oh, snap! Well, fine. I'll hear you out, but nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Forget Tim. Real or not, the important thing is what we are all capable of doing tomorrow. And what we're gonna do is beat the old builders at their game. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Like they got us all on leashes. What, like you're just going to quit? Yeah. Quitting is like for a quitters, dude. I'll be sure to remember that. The next time I've got a gladiator aiming for my head with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! It's true. Any one of those gladiators could probably beat any of us to a pulp one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? There's no way they'd be able to do that if we all tried to fight them at once! Oh, I get it now. If we work together as a team! Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome.
We can do this. We don't need Tim because we are Tim. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it. Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The, it's walls. the walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will. <coughs> Judge you for it. Hey, come on, would you stop yammering at me? They're talking about the rules or something. I'm trying to listen. Yeah, I should have guessed you're one of those people who listens to the rules. Don't worry, huh? They're just about to get to the important part. Maybe. Uh, for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Uh, oh, yeah, didn't you hear them? I need to gather up things to build defenses, craft tools, and... And you don't care at all, do you? Nope. Awesome. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh, gladiators! <laughs> that's right! <laughs> so all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Tick dock! Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, oh, choices are funny. Hey! <laughs> Seems like they're happy what you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. Oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Oh, wow, I mean, yeah. C could you not tell? I <laughs> oh, it's true, it's true! Just dirt. Come on! Yep, just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mevia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots sizing each other up. 
Unmoving before they go in for the kill. Hang on now. We em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Now hang on, Em, you don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Thought I'd try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has opted to em, not you are strike all right in my book. Well, the feeling's mutual, the but don't let it go to your head, or I'll knock it off its shoulders. Wait. Noted. What, what is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? Yeah, see, usually all the little teams kill each other. We're not killing each other because we're done fighting, Slab. It's over. Uh-huh. So why do you still have your weapons out? Done fighting each other. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! When what they sh These aren't your games anymore, Hadrian. Uh, uh, these weren't our games? Wow, my urge to destroy is dissipating. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You're all such strong, amazing fighters. You could fight the old builders, defeat them. No way. I am very strong, but not strong enough for that. <laughs> yep. That is some straight crazy talk. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just doing my job and came anyway so we could be on time. That was real considerate. I will fight the old builders by your side. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. A two slab. You'll pay for that. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the builder game bylaws, means they are which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Mevia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily. Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. Come on, Mevia. Just admit you lost. You'll feel better. Lost? We'll never lose. We, we still have the Atlas. Ha! Well, that's the thing. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. 
Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! Hey, Matthew, what are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Surrender the Redstone Heart. Now. Now. Because, uh... I will trap you here. Forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. You heard, Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Otto about that later, but trust me. The Atlas will never be yours. Ah! 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 Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just... M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. No. <laughs> No! Slab! It was an honor to fight the sun. Slab! Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no we'll match. Let's see about that. I got this, Hadrian. <laughs> Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <gasps> this game... is... No! no! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! I... I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. You know, I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry, that's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys. I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, because... I'm awesome, and we both need to get out of this. Teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take him down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, nice ah, choice. Not sweet. Payback time. Ah, now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines. Doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you.
Thanks, Paul. No! Wait! There. That should keep you quiet. No one gets out of obsidian. Harper, I'm gonna owe you one. Time to go to work. Give up! <laughs> wow, her inventory was huge. Mavia, come on! What kind of rookie move was that? Top for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Let's take him to the slab lab. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Come on! Never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it. Now, Mevia. We have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Guys! How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best. And you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, now hang on. Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. And I'm gonna help, too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, and speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. There was some good stuff in there. I was really moved. 
Awesome. Huh. I guess he wasn't so immovable after all. Well, M, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Sounds like Otto's gonna be, you know, like restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun! M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. It probably won't be easy, Harper. I hope you're ready to work hard. Oh, I am. What I did? I'll be very grateful if they can forgive me someday. You'll be fine. You'll be fine! Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Nice. There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! 
the mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. Just say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. You know something? I really like that. There. Done. Well, tell the next one, anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures? I know it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? Come on, guys, we have to catch up with him. In a very unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Oh, never mind. Not your best work, Mavia. Give me